It's been over a week since we've eaten meat. Meat is overrated. Fruit is good for purging the system of toxins. That's the trouble. My system's being purged far too regularly for my liking. Uh. Friday, what are you doing? That's a fire ant colony. I need some more for my collection. There we go. That was not so painful. Oh, oh, they're in my britches. <laughs> I warned you those things are lethal, but no, you had to go stick your nose in, didn't you? There must be something about you that they cannot resist. <laughs> What's so special about them, anyway? These ants have medicinal qualities. We were wondering when you'd finally roll up. Some guard dog you are. They finished their repairs. It's Will Atkins. He's had them working night and day. How long do we have? He's planning to sail in 48 hours on the high tide. What about the real crew? Still prisoners. He's moved them all into the ship. They're locked in the brig. What's your plan? If Captain Taylor's on board, I don't have one. What? What? I thought we'd have a couple of weeks. I mean, you saw the damage. We have two days to overturn the mutiny and reinstate the captain. Then we better get started. Just let me help you. Do you think I want to serve under mutineers? You can't do this without me, Crusoe. Look what happened last time you tried. Ah, uh, Crusoe. I've lived as one of them for two years. I slit the throat of the last man who tried to cross me. You did that? Yes, I did. All right. First thing you need to do is go back to the ship. What are you going to do? Come with you. There you are, Captain Taylor. It's not healing like it should. It's this climate. We should be in England. Oh, Elizabeth. Don't give up hope. It may happen sooner than you think. I'm done here. Thank you. I had given up hope of ever seeing you again. Does our agreement still stand? Restore the ship to my command. I'll guarantee you safe passage to England. Have your men ready at dawn. We'll need weapons. We'll raid the ship's armory. Oliver will take Atkins and the worst of his men on a fool's errand into the jungle. Once they're gone, we'll battle the rest of his company. Why not take the ship now while we have a chance? And fight below decks against those numbers. No, I don't think so. We'll take the leaders out, and the rest will turn. You have no stomach for a fight, it seems. Think what you like. There is a man who could use a tragic accident. First time I ever fought for my life, it was on a ship just like this. It was the day I sailed from England. And from that day to this, I never knew who the man was or why he'd want to kill me.
Captain Taylor, you've been deceiving me. Hodges here found this in your cabin. French? And I found this coat of yours. <laughs> it's rather a good fit, don't you think? It is indeed the coat of a gentleman. But you've somehow managed to look like an organ grinder's monkey. Proud words from a man facing ruin. I mean, it's true, isn't it? You've sunk your entire fortune into this void. See where it's got you. <laughs> well, look on the bright side, Taylor. If you weren't locked up in your own brig, you'd be languishing in a debtor's prison. <laughs> I'll take charge of these. I want that man sober when I throw him overboard. You'll need this tomorrow. I want to apologize. For what? For my behavior last time. I should have shown more resolve. Will you forgive me? What did the savage want? Nothing. Is it true? What? On top of all these other troubles, that the cost of this adventure has ruined us. If Crusoe can restore the ship to my command and I can begin to trade again, we may avoid poverty yet. Don't even imagine this redeems you. Get back to the ship. What do you want? I found something you'd like to see. What might that be? The castaways home, deep in the jungle. I was collecting plants. Hodges! I need some reliable men. We have one last score to settle. I sir. This is rather early for you. I haven't been to bed yet now. I want you to load the medical chest onto the boat and look lively, lad. I'm gonna get 40 wings. You have to do it yourself. Don't you argue with me, boy. The boy is working for me today. Olivia's leaving with Atkins. I will follow them. I'll get back to the ship and help Taylor. Atkins and his men have gone into the jungle. Go! Quietly, man. I think that's far enough. What the deuce are you talking about, man? I'm afraid there won't be any little trip to shore today. <laughs> Says who? Says me. And them. I don't understand. Your lieutenant has turned traitor. You told Atkins everything? Sorry, Taylor, but I've been waiting for my chance to switch to the winning side. But until you made a plan, I had nothing to offer. 
You could have had your freedom. I don't think so. Not if it depends on Crusoe. I think the islands made him soft. So you say you were out looking for plants and you just ran across this place? A stroke of luck. I'm often in the jungle looking for herbs. How does he live? In a treehouse. Oh, how quaint. Well, I'm certainly going to shake his tree. If we surprise him, his capture should be easier. I'll surprise him, all right. And his death will be a fitting way to say goodbye to this accursed island. <coughs> well, he's choking. Do something. What's happening here? I have information. Who are you trying to fool? Now, boy, you better tell me where Crusoe's hideout really is. I have a savage to catch. You'll hang for this, Davenport. Whereas with you, I'd prosper. Don't even bother trying to swim for it. By now, they're all over your little hideout. Tell me, what do you think your uh, educated savage is worth? the slave market. Before this is over, you and I will have a reckoning. You're in a position to threaten me. Tie them up. Take another step and I'll shoot. Oh, I applaud your bravery, Mrs. Taylor. You have one chance to hit me with that musket. I'll wager you five guineas you miss. <laughs> So glad you could join me. <laughs> I am very impressed with your little hideaway. It's quite the Englishman's castle. What have you done with Oliver and Friday? <laughs> Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. You know, there's a tradition in the Navy of discipline. Hodges here is something of an expert in the field. He's been on the receiving end often enough. <laughs> you have your boat. What else do you want? Your slave, Friday. We haven't found him yet. Friday's not my slave. More fool you, but he is going to be ours. <laughs> Friday, if you value Crusoe's life, You'll hand yourself in. Don't listen to him! The longest I've ever known a man last is 40 lashes. I thought. Find him, he's somewhere nearby. You nearly took my finger off. Unless you don't like a lashing yourselves. <laughs> Wrap your hand. Stop whining. Get him into the treehouse. <sighs> you do know he's going to find you and start killing you one by one. Plenty of time to change sides. Let's go! <laughs> Come on! I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. We were betrayed. Strip the place of anything of value. Then prepare to torch it. <laughs> well, 
Where is he? You're supposed to have captured him. He's working his way through us all till we're all dead, just like the castaway warned. We should have sailed when we had the chance. There is one man out there, not an army. And we set sail after we've captured him, not a minute before. Do I make myself clear? How much longer do you think you can make us follow you with, with idle threats? With cowards like you. As long as I want. Kill him. You better do as he says, or he'll do it. If he does, he will die also. It's Hodges, isn't it? Yes. What binds you to Atkins here? Love? Loyalty? Or fear? That's enough. Mostly the last one. Hodges! Do you want to continue in fear, or end it now? I don't listen to him, kill him! Atkins will get you killed, or hanged. Side with me, and you're a free man. No hard feelings, but I don't think this mutiny lark is for me after all. Your sword. I'm up. I need to get back to Taylor. Do the honourable thing. Kill me now. I can't go back alive. If you were honourable, I might consider it. I guess that makes it twice that you saved my life. Your hands. Keep the pressure here. Where's that mongrel of mine? You don't have a dog. My, my apprentice. The man is drunk. You wouldn't want him sober. He shakes more. Davenport! Oh, Crusoe. Someone take his pistol. Listen to me. Will Atkins' day is over. The ship is now under the command of Captain Taylor. Hear him out, lads. He's got an offer for you. It's the death penalty for a mutineer. You all know this. But you have one defense. 
You served under Atkins and his men out of fear for your lives. But Atkins is finished. And his other men are dead. Abandon this mutiny and return to England as free men! Free men! Captain Taylor here will vouch for your character. Am I right about that, Captain? With one exception. I wouldn't pin my hopes on a dead man. Your orders, Captain Taylor. Before we sail, I need a surgeon. Not that one. I'll do what I can. I've patched up enough of his mistakes. Get ready to sail. Right, men! Dismantle the scab! There's something I need to tell you about, Oliver. I already know. You do? Credit me with some intelligence. I'm not one of the men. Crystal, she keeps drifting in and out. Rob, she used that to clean her wound. She's absolutely right. That wound gets infected, she's dead. We've got to get it closed up. With what? Rowley uses cat gut. It's all we've got. We've got to use something else. Wait. Open it up. When these ends bite, they will hold the two sides together. Hold this. When I twist the heads off, the jaws will keep the wound closed. Takes more than a fancy coat to be a commander, Atkins. But what would you know of honor or moral compass? Once they've hanged you, no one will even know you were born. Is it done? Yes, the boy survived the operation. But we'll have to wait until morning before we can move him. And what about the tides? Well, the tides in the morning will be high enough, just. How can you be sure? Sir, I've been marooned on this island for over six years. Do you think I don't know everything there is to know about the tides? So be it. But we sail with or without the boy. Sir. Mutiny follows you around, Captain Taylor. I'll take over. It should be me lying there. Not the first time someone's tried to kill me. At least this time I know who and why. You can predict where the river deaths are going to turn up. When they wash in from the sea, it's anyone's guess. I know about the tides. Did you have his mother drown? Man, 30 years or less, right place, right time, and a stab wound. But not the right man. Bad luck. You know, I think I've worked it out. Have you indeed? They say you tried to adopt Robin Crusoe as your own. And now you want to get control of his son. What for? You're rich. 
They've got nothing. Yeah, exactly. But it's not about what you can get from the Crusoes, is it? It's what the Crusoes could take from you. Good Lord, Jeremiah. That look could geld a stoat. What did I say? More than is why. I came to haunt you from the dead. <laughs> You've been enough trouble to me in this life to be bothering me from the next. Mm. No, 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 careful, careful, careful. I know how to deal with stitches. Well, they're not exactly stitches. <laughs> I made you some broth. to strengthen you up. It's a bit of a walk to the ship. Do you think Captain Taylor would leave without us? He, he may leave without us, but, but he won't leave without his wife. Eat up. I've got a few last things to do. I'm ready if you are. I'm ready. All stored away, Captain. Shall I tell the crew to make ready to sail? I'm found, Crusoe. We're gonna miss the tide. Where is he? Perhaps you could ask Mrs. Taylor, sir. What do you mean by that? On the way to the boat, taking it easy with the patient. These are beautiful. Did you draw them yourself? I just copy what I see. You should put the names on them. I'm here to master writing in English let alone Latin. Well, perhaps on our voyage, you will allow me to help you label them. It depends. 
on whether you're going to be a strict teacher like the ones Crystal told me from his childhood. Only if you misbehave. I could help you with the first label now, if you wanted. How much further? It's not far. You must be exhausted. <laughs> You're not that heavy. You need to rest now, don't you? All right. Just a minute. All right? Yes, feeling better. It's the, uh, it's the longest way around, but it's the easiest. When you have a body to carry. <laughs> exactly. You've been gone for a long time, haven't you? Yes, I have. What if my children have forgotten me? You're their father. They will never forget you. I just hope they're safe. To those who are in years but babes, I bow my pen to teach them what the letters be and how they may learn their A, B... Sister, are you there? No. Go and please. Now, come along, sister. You don't want to make a fuss and frighten the children. Who are these men? Bailiffs. They've no right coming into my house. Ah, uh, now there's the problem. You see, strictly speaking, they do. You see, Mrs. Crusoe, it turns out that your husband's investment didn't fully cover his liabilities. Meaning what? Meaning we're entitled to recover the balance in goods and property. In fact, we're more or less obliged to. Breaks my heart. But. What can you do? We're taking the warehouse. It's legal. So pick up your brats and go. Go where? I've never seen it myself, but I'm told that you can pass for pretty. Nathan? Hmm. Still. A pretty face can always find a benefactor. Or failing that, there's the parish. Just don't think about going home. Sister, you've burned your bridges there. And no mistake. I was thinking, Samuel. I'd engage an attorney to get our property back, but I have nothing to pay one with. We can discuss that later. I'll work for our keep. Please. I mean it, Mr. Blackthorn. We're not here for charity. But you are in need. Which is good for my soul. <laughs> now, Sophie. In this house, you look, but you never, ever touch. Hmm? No part of you will miss this place? Not a single part. At least you can say you conquered it. I didn't conquer it. If I've learned anything from being here, it's... humility. <laughs> you, humble? <laughs> You should, uh, put on your disguise. I'd sooner see out the rest of my days here as Olivia than to go back to being the surgeon's apprentice. If it meant staying here with you. Olivia. Just, I'm sorry. Ignore me, please. Listen, maybe, maybe it could have worked out in another life. Here. I need to. 
to walk. Well, <laughs> if all else fails, you could have a career as a master forger. Forgive me, madam. I have orders to bring you to Captain Taylor immediately. You too. Why are you pointing that thing at me? You're about to find out. Tell him, Crusoe. Tell him we did nothing wrong. Hold your tongue. I'll confine you to your cabin. Where's Friday? It's in my brig. What for? His behavior towards my wife. Rowley's been looking for you. Get below. There's no justification for this. You have to release him. I am the captain of this ship. You don't give me orders. We had a deal. And I stand by it. But we said nothing of your companion. Once he's sold, we'll continue to England. Edmund! What? You wanted to know how we were going to survive? Well, now you know. I misjudged you. You know better than Atkins. Make your choice. Stay or go. But I'm selling the savage. He's no man's property. I'll put a mark on him that says different. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Don't enjoy it too much. You're next. Where do you think you're going? You're a fool, Taylor. Even your own wife and daughter can see it. I may be a fool, but I do have the upper hand. If you don't want to sail, go back to your island. But I'm keeping the slave, and there's nothing you can do about it. Then you sail without a surgeon. Let Friday go, I'm jumping ship. What's that to me? I still have Rowley. Rowley's dead. Do you smell something? That leg of yours is beginning to fester. How long do you think you can last on the voyage without me? It's true, Taylor. If that leg needs to come off, you want a good man at the knife. Gentlemen! Any man here care to cross the world without a surgeon? No, sir. No, sir. No. Take him, then. Go rot together on your godforsaken island. Prepare to set sail! I have no right to ask this of you. What is it? It's a letter to Susanna. I wrote it in case anything was to happen to me on the crossing. I'm sorry about everything. You have nothing to apologize for. I was the fool. I meant what I said about you and me in another life. Just not this one. Just not this one. Take care.
No all fresh produce below deck. Everything on deck, lashed down, secured. Then prepare to weigh anchor. May yet have another life, Robinson Crusoe. Perhaps sooner than you think.